Now at 5.30, an update on an I-Team investigation into a five-time drunk driver who killed a young mother years ago. After that crash, he lost his license for life, but our camera found him back behind the wheel. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Lisa Hughes. I'm Paula Evan. Today, that 61-year-old driver faced a judge, and our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, was there. It took less than 30 minutes for a judge in Dedham District Court to find William Foley Jr. guilty of driving with a revoked license. Mr. Foley, I sentenced you to the House of Correction for a period of 18 months. Prosecutors using video from an I-Team investigation in 2021 when we caught Foley, the five-time drunk driver who killed a woman behind the wheel of a Mercedes SUV. Foley was driving even though the Registry of Motor Vehicles took his license away for life. Here's what he told us at the time. I received a letter from the RMV and I'm back on the road. You're saying that the registry gave you your license back? Yes. Okay. Do you have any proof of that? Uh, not at this time. You said you got a letter. Can you show us the letter? But Foley did not show us any proof that he had a license. Over the years, the now 61-year-old has made a couple of failed attempts to get his driving privileges back. I was completely responsible and take all blame for the accident that occurred uh, that tragic night. I am so, so sorry from the bottom of my heart. In this 2009 hearing, Foley pleaded with the registry, apologizing for the 2001 crash that left Christine Griffiths dead. <laughs> the young mom had a two-year-old, Michaela, who's now in her 20s. She and her grandparents who raised her have come to every court hearing. I'm glad it's over. 18 months is good. I'm happy. Tuesday sentencing, now the second time Foley will be behind bars. He went to prison for four years after pleading guilty to killing Christine. I think I got justice not only for her, but for the whole family. I think about her every day and she'd be very happy about what happened. Foley's attorney said he's been sober for 23 years and asked the judge to give him two weeks to report to the jail. The judge refused. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Have you seen something the I-Team should be looking into? Send us an email at iteam at cbsboston.com. Lisa?